It's your boy Moxburg Slim coming live from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey, this is Coach B.D. Waddell, West Mac High School. I'm Doug Rashid. I'm a Grammy-nominated record producer. Hey, I'm LaCoya McClain. I used to be known as MA1570847. Hey, my name is Lydia. I'm a social injustice activist. Hey, it's Danielle E. Brown, songwriter and artist, and we're rocking with Grand Dossier TV. Yo, what's good? It's Mr. Black Man Go Talk himself, the real Woody, and I'm rocking with Grand Dossier TV. Back to another great show on Grand Dossier TV, where I'm here with, with Mr. Black Man himself, my man Woody in the building, coming today to talk about a lot of great things, especially the one question I have for him, what is black excellence? What has he been doing? But before we get into all that great conversation, I want you to go hit the subscribe button, hit those likes, run them up. We need at least 1,000 or more. Hit the notification bell so when we go live, y'all will get all the up-to-date videos. My man Woody, what have you been up to? What's good, black man? You know, living, promoting my latest joint, Sparkle. Mm -hmm. Getting these holidays out the way, you know, working. Just grinding, though. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Just grinding. Every day, all day. I've been following you on the book, man. Um, I see that you had some stuff that's new out there. It was, uh, I guess on my part, it was some, some technical difficulties mm -hmm. to get it going. But explain to the people, explain to me, what you got going on now? Well, I just recently dropped, it was supposed to be two, but I took it back and just released one new joint called Poetry. Like you were saying, it was some discrepancies what I thought was with the song, but it's just, I guess Apple Music's algorithm got to catch up and it's dropping under my old name, Woody or whatever, but I still go by Woody. It's just for like the online purposes, I do the real Woody, but yeah. Poetry is just me speaking poetically, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, to the ladies or whatever. But I'm in a Wale type of bag with this one, though, for real. Gotcha. Like, it's some feel-good music. It's, it's a it's a groove, for real. Okay. Is that your new style you're going for right now? Or that's just yeah, like, once, once Sparkle dropped, and this was, with, this was in June. Mm -hmm. Once Sparkle dropped, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay in this lane until further notice. Okay. I ain't going to do no rap rap. I just want to talk to the ladies for a while. Now, is it you by yourself, or do you have anybody from your camp or anybody from the area that's on with you? For like poetry, the song? Yeah, It's yeah. just me. It's you? Yeah. All right, tell us what poetry is about. For the ones who have not heard it yet, what is it about? Poetry is, po well, poetry, a.k.a. flowers, because mm -hmm. I call it flowers. You got to listen to the, if you really listen to the song, okay. then you'll understand why. Flowers is in parentheses, but like I say, poetry is me speaking. I wanted to be poetic, talk some poetry gotcha. to the ladies, the female audience. So I wanted to show my poetic side, I guess. Okay. Okay. How long did it take you to record that one right there? Not long. It was just finishing the song, really. I've been working on numerous amount of songs. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just all about how fast I want to get done with a song. Gotcha. Like, and, I don't feel like I needed to rush, so I'm I'm just been taking my time, really. Now, with, with it being on YouTube, um, it's that, on Spotify too. Okay, is that a video on YouTube? But that's just a song no, on YouTube. It's a song. It's a, okay, when when's the video coming? That's gonna have to be. See, I had to catch myself when I was listening to it maybe a few days ago because my mind is saying, "Let's go ahead and shoot this." Right. But knowing it's it's that springtime. Flowers. Flowers come back up. Yep. Yep. You know, the roses are red. Right. Yeah. So you want the background, everything to be right. It's got to be, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's got to be springtime. It definitely can't be in the winter because everything's nah. dead right now. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. We can write yeah. it down and plot it, but now nah, I can't yeah. shoot it yet. Anybody in mind you plan on uh, working with to shoot it? Myself. Yourself? Everything in-house. 
Hey, I don't blame you on that, man. That's hey, listen, fact, listen. I, I didn't know if you had a guy that said, you know what, he can make this come out. So, like, I mean, I do got a guy, but he he moved to Florida probably sometime last year. But you know what I'm saying I probably get myself and maybe one of the guys. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Get to, to get another angle. Gotcha. But yeah, every I like I, me personally, I like to keep everything in house. Oh, I feel you on that. Hey, maybe you need drone for this. Just you know, Grand Dossier Media Hill. They we let you get the drone. Like I, ain't, I ain't got to be the one flying there, but I let you get it. Some. I'm a need some for real. Cause, man, that's mm, I got some stuff. Yeah, if you just let me know what you're working with, man. You need the drone, hey brother. It's you can fly it. Cause thinking of a song that I got that I want to drop in the near future, mm-hmm. feeling good, feeling great. That that drone footage should be dope on some high over the looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's up, then, man. So, what what else we got going on? Twenty twenty three, we here, um, mm-hmm. knocking down that door. So, what we got going on? What what what's the plans for this year now? The plan for twenty twenty three is for Woody to focus on being an artist. Gotcha. The plan for twenty twenty three is for that to be my last year for a nine to five. Ah right, man, listen, we had we had something to drink in here. I would toast with you right now on that. The plan for twenty twenty three, I'm it's on, I'm on some tour shit. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's some stuff. Twenty twenty three, January. I got this verses coming up. Okay, who you going against in the verses? Some dude, I forget his name. <laughs> Somebody irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? Your <laughs> three relevant. best songs, of course, Black Man is gonna be one of mine. Gotcha. I just gotta figure out my other two, and I got a performance that night too. Okay. But yeah, I got some stuff coming. Man. I no. got an EP, a new EP coming too. Okay, what's the name of it? What's the title? Matter of fact, it just got created last night with another interview. Okay. Because we was talking about my versatility of how I got so many different type of tracks. Okay. So my guy was like, he said something about chameleon. Mmm. Did you post that on Facebook today? Okay, I did see that. So as soon as he said chameleon, it was like something triggered my brain. Mm-hmm. And then my man who was interviewed me started talking, and I already knew where he was going. Yeah. Just off strength of that feeling when he said it. Yeah. So it was like a chain reaction. And yeah. I'm like, you ain't, it's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through all this new music I've been creating, because I got variety, a variety okay. pack. Yeah. That's like another... EP that I might want to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But gonna see. Chameleon is gonna be a bunch of different things going on. Uh, you you might hear R and B, then you might hear a little piece of pop, mm-hmm. then you might hear some rap, mm-hmm. then you might get some conscious. Gotcha, gotcha. Now was that has that always been the plan for you when you first started doing music? I never knew I would be doing it like this. Gotcha. Never. Never. You had well, what was your your when you first started in the game, what was your 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 style, your mode you was in? You mean with that first joint I dropped for um Like when you when you first got into the studio and you first went into it. When I first just started getting the studio. Yeah, what was what was like what was your angle then? Okay, that's so mm, So this, this so the people can see the, this so the people can see the involvement, like how you involved to this. It was just me. I was freestyling a lot. I gotcha. was freestyling a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of hardcore, like a lot of hard rap. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It wasn't really no versatility then. Yeah, yeah. It was just straight through rapping, through instrumentals. So over the years, you just kind of this. And once I started with this first mixtape, Mr. Stick City Volume 1. Mm-hmm. It was like 2011 or so. I was going to freestyle. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the dog, Flu. He was like, if you want this to be, you know what I'm saying, you want it to be hot, then you need to write. Gotcha. Ever since then. That's what you've been doing. And that brought the creativity, that brought the progression, the booth etiquette. Like, mm-hmm. Gotcha. Well, we're going to come back to the music in a minute, man. I know when I was sitting down, I was like, man, who can I interview? And you weren't the guys that came up for 2023 because I'm on some other stuff right now as well as far as, you know, what is black excellence? And just trying to figure out, you know, where do we go as a people from here into this new year? In your mind, how do we achieve black excellence? But furthermore, what is black excellence? Because with your, with your, what was it? What, what, what song was it? When you were talking about black men, that album right there. 
what if he knew? Right. That one. That was hinting to what black excellence was. That's what made me think of you. So how do we achieve it and what is it? Black excellence to me is, let's say, what I'm doing now. And I pass it down to my kids. Mm -hmm. So on and so on. Mm -hmm. Generational wealth. Black excellence is, let's say I got a business and I got the blueprint. I pass it down to you. Mm -hmm. You pass it down to him. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no problem seeing you win. Gotcha. And that leads me to a song that I got. Okay. Black Dude. Black Dude. Black Dude. D-O. Okay. Black Dude. Gotcha. Like, whoo. I got stuff. I was going to make a deluxe to that. Would it be new? And that's what the songs are going to be on there. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to mess it up. You know what I'm saying? Because they deemed it. Woody P. Newton was a classic album. Gotcha. So I'm just like, I don't know. I've been sitting on probably like three songs for that deluxe. Gotcha. That's on that type of black excellent (laughs) talk. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I got something called the same hue as me, and I got something called color. Color. Gotcha. So how how do we bring back black excellence into 2023? Because, you know, as we watch the year of 2022 and 21, you had something like a young dolphin got killed by his own people. You had takeoff. I don't even know what happened with that. I don't even know how that whole situation happened. All I know was he came up dead. But how do we achieve black excellence when we stop killing one another and start making money money with one another? Because everybody else, except us, is making money with each other. We gotta wanna do it. You feel me? Like we gotta wanna do it. If we don't wanna do it, it'll never happen. Right. Put put it up higher. Bring it up higher. Everybody want to talk about, you know what I'm saying, the strength in numbers and yeah, want to be a part of the black excellence. But yet and still, y'all want to praise the BS music out here mm-hmm. that's hypnotizing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, like I say in my song, we mad when we shot by the cops, mm-hmm. but it's never the same energy when we shot by the ops. Mm. Never the same energy. Nah, I love it. I love it. That's a t-shirt. You know, I, you That's know I dropped them gems, but they don't like to listen. They like the irrelevant. They like the irrelevant. The ignorance. But why does that sell? I, I was talking to um my man, uh, Paul Montano, and he said it was not his job to disrespect his talent. So like the dumb, it, it, it is not his job to disrespect his talent. Meaning, instead of dumbing down his music, okay, he gonna spit it out there to you and give you the real. That's a fact. And I so, agree with that because niggas used to always try to tell me I need to dumb it down for what? Right. It's because you too dumb to understand it. <laughs> right. Nah. And, and so with so within saying that though, within saying that, why do the real always get put to the side in the in the I don't know, man. My kids be singing some songs now. I don't know what they be talking about. And them same songs got Rico charges on said artists going to jail. So why is that always the thing that sell? Because that's what the people mm-hmm. want out here. Yeah. You know those people. Yes. Uh, yes. So you know they always want to try to have us down and out. Oh, every every time. To, in so many words. So why not have a heavy dose of the bull out here mm-hmm. that the kids can get hypnotized to act a fool to then have music out here uplifting so we can all come together and who knows, we might mess around and bring back Black Wall Street. I'm, I'm for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm for it. I mean, they have, a, they, have a, they have a system of Black Wall Street they're trying to do in Asheville, but you I'm for it. Though. me? I'm for it, though. Like, come on now. Ain't nobody talking about how it could take X amount of dollars to bring all that back. I own everything. Mm-hmm. So, why ain't that being talked about? Why don't they want to do that? But There's too know. much power you put back into our hands. There you go. And what you say? know we, the most, we are the most powerful race when it comes down to it. Yeah, because they know that. Our buying power and everything else we have is, is crazy. What you saying owning stuff, though, let's talk about you owning, um, and we're going to jump back to other things besides Black Excellence, because I want to talk about Rico with you as well. What you saying owning stuff, you own all your music? That's a fact. 
and you own all your streams and everything. So how things been going with that? How how has BMI been to you? BMI been good. I register all my shows. I don't do a show without registering that joint. Mm -hmm. Every time I leave a studio from recording a joint, it goes straight to the BMI for registration. Gotcha. The streams is lovely. Lovely. 6.7 million. Mm. I see you post that on Facebook. I, I mean, you know, I be I be on that hard looking. I see you post your streams. Yeah, man, I don't talk about it though, but they said I got a reason to pop my shit. Well, go ahead so and pop, man, go ahead and pop off real quick. What's been going on? Pop it off real quick, there. Six point seven million total streams. Mm-hmm. Man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I ain't said you. You ain't seen me brag not one time. Cause in real life, I'm humble though. Mm-hmm. But it's like I'm. Even though I don't, I don't conquer the locals. You know what I'm saying? Even back when. But it's like, y'all, why y'all forgetting? Right. How y'all gonna forget I really do this for real? Right. I really rap. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I really rap. I make music. I'm not out here making the same old music. I'm not out here making music just for gimmicks. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I make real good music. Like, hands down. Like, I've surpassed... A lot of these cats around here who was doing music before me. Mm-hmm. Say, say it one more time. I've surpassed a lot of these cats around here who yeah, was doing up. music before me. If I had the button right now to hit the, uh, the explosion yeah. sound, I would be... Doo, 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 That's doo, part doo. of the reason why <laughs> I call myself like a goat for real. Explain, explain that more to the people. For people who don't know you, explain what goat talk is. Goat talk is that talk like you, you can't just talk some talk and not back it up. Right. Everything that I said, I done backed up. I kept it 100 from the jump. Like like I said, I outlasted all these cats out here mm-hmm. who was doing music. I'm the last one standing for real. Mm-hmm. I don't care what niggas say on Facebook. They can do what they want. Post your videos on Facebook. I don't care about no views. <laughs> Holler at me when y'all niggas get 6.7 million streams. There you go. I ain't I ain't even standing to brag, but it's like, it's time that I pop this shit for real. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Because these niggas is out here playing with me, and I'm tired of it. Man, talk to them. I'm tired of it, though. You know? <laughs> and the only reason why I ain't dropped that track yet is because I'm waiting for, it, for me to hit 7 million. When you hit seven million, you dropping it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop that joint at seven million, cause I come out the gate. Those horses and the Honda, they kicking out the stable. Those seven million streams, I did that without a label. Oh man, now that shit don't even feel real. I'm the real deal. Had to call the manager up. Like Glaze, what the? F- I've been peeping my streams. I got the type of stats that a local artist would dream. <clears throat> I'm talking millions, of course. These type of numbers should put me in the source or maybe double XL. No choice but to XL. All gas, no brakes. I have no time to exhale. Ambition on go. So watch how I propel. Mm. Life keep me grounded, but this is where I set a sail. Stop playing with me. I rap. <laughs> Now, I really be rapping, He's, He man. out here doing it. That's why I, I call myself a goat. Because ain't nobody proved nothing. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to say nobody proved no more than me because it has been people who have, quote, unquote, done more. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. But for me and the niggas who talk, y'all ain't done more than me. Right, right, right. And they know this. Right. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care who they say they done met, how good they say their music is. Niggas know what's up with me. They know like, what time it is. Niggas know what's up. Yeah. And I'm back. I'm back popping it like I used to pop it, <laughs> and that's why they don't like me. Right. Now. Right. And I don't care, because the people who like me like me. The people who need to like me like me. Let's say that. That's all that matters. You feel me? That's all that I matters. People who support me. And you know Grandassier TV always got that's your back. Fact. You see, I need an interview for, for what's good. <laughs> it's easy. Like. All you got to do is say win with me if I rock with you for real. Yeah, and you here. Mm-hmm. I appreciate Pull up game it. game on Hercules, cuz. There you go. <laughs> real strong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it do, yeah. man. That's what it do. So, any 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 show dates besides the versus battle? Any show dates later on? Uh, any any see. collapse with anybody in the city or outside the, outside the city, outside the, you know, the county, the state, the country? I mean, listen, I ain't going to lie. 
this whole probably cold course of the year, I've been trying to get people to collab. Mm. I'm not about to beg you. Right. You feel me? Because I'm me at the end of the day. Hey, now I will say this though. And this ain't, and I'm not gonna say the word local rapper because you are artists, you are rappers, you are performers. But can I speak on that Go local ahead. artist thing just for a brief sec? Go ahead. People get that so construed because at one point your fucking local artist was just like this. Mm hmm. That they that just like this. Mm-hmm. Jeezy was just like this. He was. Wale was just like this. He was. Who or whoever, it don't matter, was just like this. Yeah. So the people who look down on local artists, they kill me. Yes. They kill me. Because at one time, Jay Z was, Biggie was. Just like this. They were. They were. Go ahead. Hey, I'm I'm, going to let you right now. That's a real on Facebook right there. That's a fact. That's a a real. So some of y'all, though, not you, but I have seen the quote unquote air quotes local artists be charged and have the audacity to charge. Like, bro, I done heard somebody say, hey, bro, give me 500, I'll jump on the track with you. I like, for eight bars, I gotta give you 500? Mm-hmm. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, now, if you don't have, you got seven, now, if you have seven million streams, mm-hmm. that's different, because you got an audience. That's a fact. But for people who don't have no audience, like, bro, what are you giving me for 500? That's, I think that's the part people fail to realize, like, what is your, your thing to that? Like, bro, people be out here really, like, taxing, because... Trust me, I know. <laughs> I done came across people... On Instagram. And I said it because you said you're not going to beg nobody. That's, and that's why I said that. I came across artists on Instagram. I got way more followers than y'all. Mm-hmm. And I know I'm doing more, mm-hmm. but I'm not about to pay you thousands, and I know I'm doing more than you. It, it's only a select few people um, around here, and they're not even local no more. They're actually doing it that I, I will spend that money with. Um, you know, one of my guys, shout out to 20, producer. Whatever number he throw out, I ain't gonna be mad at him. That man's a platinum winning producer. So when he throws out a number, it's like, all right, bro, respect. You can't be mad at it if a motherfucker mm-hmm. done proved it. Done proved it, can't be mad. You but, can't be mad at the price. Uh, what's my other name? Uh, Westifer. All right, another one. If he say a number, got it. I was He was supposed to get me some beats for the Woody P. Newton album, but he could never get it what I was looking for. But gotcha. I still get at him. I am still want to holler at him eventually again, though. But yeah. See like, him? Somebody like that? I got you. Yeah, you can't be mad if like if somebody got the accolade mm-hmm. to prove it, you can't be mad at that. Now, anybody outside them two right there? Like, 2023 for me, nothing's free. <laughs> right. So. I, hey. It's like no BS. I gotta take it up a level. Got to. I've been doing this for too long. And if you gotta, like I said, if you gotta like, follow when you you gotta like, bro, I gotta, I gotta get you. And I'm growing. Yeah. And like I didn't hire a PR. Yeah. Like this last year, I didn't hire a PR, and it's it's working. And so yeah, it's moving you along. Yeah. Yeah. And I told him, 2023, we we nothing is free. Gotcha. I, we I've already told him my prices. Mm-hmm. Nothing's crazy high. Right. But I told him. We know how negotiations work. Start high as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we can get more, let's get more. But Easy. my price is not high. But you, but you got to have a price up because you got to have a standard. That's a fact. And gotcha. if you don't got that, they're not going to take you for See, real. Right. And, and that's true. That's if you, you Free gotta, don't you always gotta, mean a good thing. Because free, I'm looking at you like, if it's free, it, mean, it may be garbage. Mm. But if I, if I got to pay you, I... It might be some. It yeah. might be some quality. Cause we business, cause we doing business now. Because it was take for instance, it was a dude. It's probably been about two years ago mm-hmm. now. He wanted to do a feature with me, and this was just me throwing it up in the air. I told him a hundred dollars for a feature, mm-hmm. but I like for you, I chop it in half for fifty. Mm-hmm. Just seeing what the how to. He was like, "All right, I get at you later on." To this day, never heard it back. So I'm like, if you ever hit me back, right. you got to get that full price. Full now. price, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. probably might be even higher, right? And, and it's my not thing on is, me though. It's just I gotta be like that now, right? Because I gotta take it up a level. Yeah, I gotta go up a notch. Yeah, I'm elevating. You listen. Got gotcha. you. Sparking. I've been on Power 98's next big thing. Yeah, you did. You did put that out there. I saw that. I, I saw was that. Sleep. And somebody, you said somebody called you and told you about it, right? Text messages, Facebook messages. I just woke up, grabbed my phone. What's up, Mr. Next Big Thing? I'm like, what? Hold up. Let me wake up first. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Mm-hmm. Like, 
What do these, these niggas want to talk about? Facebook views. Yeah. I don't care about that. Nah. My stream speaking for me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love it. But 2023, man, it's my year. It's so, it's so cliche. It's your Jordan year. I know it's that's so for greatness. cliche. Yeah. I know it's so cliche. <clears throat> Cliche to say mm-hmm. that it's my nah, but watch. You gotta manifest that thing. It's cooking. I've yeah. been cooking it. I've been letting it marinate. Twenty twenty three is a tour coming soon. Believe me, I like. I know people are gonna look at this and be like, "What do you need? What do you just be talking about?" All right, it's cool. Just keep your eyes on them, though. That's all I. I be seeing people looking. <laughs> I don't say nothing. I see it. I don't say nothing. <laughs> I just play the background. Gotcha. Let them think I ain't doing nothing. Gotcha. But when they watch this right here, they be like, "He lying like a son." <laughs> I will pull these streams up and show it to you on camera and let you see it. <laughs> let you see it. <laughs> I, I feel you. I feel you. Listen, feel hey, you. they better stop playing with the king. <laughs> I'm that nigga. I'm that goat, man. Like nobody. I will listen. I don't want to pop it too hard, but I can back up whatever I say. You feel me? But yeah. I don't want to pop it too hard like that. I just want to speak on it a little bit, just because it's that time. I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm one of them. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna change. We're gonna change lanes for a second. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna slow it back down to, you know, here lately in the last, you know, 2022, and it's still going on to 2023 with the trial of uh, Young Thugger. <laughs> they basically challenging. His uh his right of free speech is basically what that is. Man, what do you think about these Rico charges with, with with music, man? That you could be charged for what you say. It's crazy because of like you say, freedom of speech. But at the same time, though, you got to be smart about what you're saying. <laughs> if I didn't kill nine I'm people not and buried them, nothing about no murder, murder, and what I done done. No, especially no murder. Drugs, okay, whatever, maybe. Got to prove it. Yeah, you ain't seen me hand to hand nothing. You ain't seen me bagging, weighing. Yeah, but murders, nah. I'm, you gotta be smart, especially if you talk about a murder it's with specific details. And they got that on the file on the cold case. And they can go pull it. Now that uh, you talking too much, too much. You low key snitch, dry snitching for real. On yourself at that, and on others. I can't, I can't snitch on myself. Nah, I don't know what you talking. About. Right. I ain't gonna have to show me the footage. <laughs> right. I'm how was who was there? When <laughs> you got game, you got, you got, you got like <laughs> all the way. <laughs> but why I mean, but why do we um is this well I say this right here though? And you can I'm not a rapper. Why do we rap like that? Not why we rap like that, because I understand to be or broadcast that kind of information. All the time though. Because it's one of them things of okay, I get on your first album, you talk about where you come from. Mm-hmm. You talk about the struggles you came out of. You talk about, okay, I may have seen a dead body or two. Um, my mom and them probably was on drugs or sold drugs. I, I get that. Mm-hmm. First album, maybe second album, I got the foundation. to you. you know what I got saying? the foundation yeah. of your life. But why on three, four, and five, we still talking about Because, like, people always say, well, Jay-Z on... I don't know. He's fifty. He's still talking about drugs. I said, but he ain't talking about he was selling it. He talking nah, about he's talking about old old stuff. But he used the reference of drugs so you can relate. process in your mind and relate to what his business uh, dealings are. So that's two different things. But for you to be like, hey, bro, yeah, I killed somebody nine years ago when I first got in. Wait a minute, what? Killed somebody with the with the nine. <laughs> we had three shots left. I hit him on the last shot. <laughs> right, like, like, what are you talking about? What? Like, what, why do why is that the thing of rapping though? Clout. Street clout. Mm. That's it. Do it mean that much to you to go to jail? What else could it be besides clout? That's all it could Street be. Street cred. That's it, all it could be. What Jeezy say on this new shit? Huh? I can't feed my family with no street cred. Yeah. I can't pay my family bills with no street, street cred. They say you lost your street cred. Tell them so what? I got them checks though. <laughs> I got them checks. So what? But why? I, that's another thing going back into the black excellence. Why do we poo poo on people that move up for better? Like that song just now by Street Cred. Mm-hmm. They say he lost it because now he put his son through college. He lost it because he lived in this big house and got that money. We poo poo on Dion for elevating to a situation. Even though people may not like it because oh, it's for the coach. Mm-hmm. I get that, but he's still elevated. Mm-hmm. 
So why do we poo poo on the situation with? Because they stuck. Mm. And they ain't got nothing going for mm. themselves. That's the worst kind of person, man. A true hater. That's that's worse than being a um. I ain't never. If I see somebody doing good, mm-hmm. it may it motivates me mm-hmm. to be like, damn, hold up, let me damn get right. Right. I ain't never been like, ah, oh, I don't. Nah. Yeah. Because I always told people, man, when it came to uh, the Grand Dossier TV show, if Grand Dossier TV show do well, bro, that means if I'm getting five and six million views, what you think that's doing for you as an artist? That's giving you them six million people. They going to go and find who, look who you are. Yep. Go- oh, yeah, Google. It's crazy. Google them. Yep. Yep. And then whatever money I get, bro, we rock like that. And you need something. I got you. And that's, you know, that's me. That's a type so, of person I am. So it's like it's not like the Grand Dossier TV show is doing it for for self. Mm-hmm. It's doing it for a whole movement of a city. Cause you know, you want people to come back to the city. Mm-hmm. And then two is doing it for the movement of I gotta see my man Woody make it. Cause I know he's trying to feed his 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 family or what they're trying to feed his kids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand the the thinking of we tearing down and not celebrating. <laughs> but since we brought up Deion Sanders' name, man, what's your what's your opinion on that? He left the culture for the... Everybody say he left the culture for the others. I'm kind of in the middle with that, though. <laughs> for real. I ain't going to lie because it's like, okay, boom. You done came. You said all of this. Mm-hmm. God sent you. Then you just up and dip. I get it. I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? Get your money, in the, get your money black man in America. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm all for the man trying to better his stuff. But it's like... It, the way I guess it was just the way it was done. It was just out of the blue, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were forewarned people, then maybe they wouldn't look at you crazy the way they looking. But I guess like I ain't really got no true issues with it to where I'm like, ah, Dion. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. Dion. That's that was my dog for real. Yeah, I, I had a pair of Dion's growing up. Right, like the Nike joints. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm all. You, know, you can't be mad at somebody wanting to be better. And wanting better. Nah, you can't. Because, I mean, it is. He basically was making like 150000 I mean, his salary was 300 Back in Colorado. Yeah, they ain't buy a million. And, like, oh, bro, man. like. It, and then he got the top receiver coming with him, too, now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he got his son coming with him. Right. That's all you need is that quarterback. So, that, that's all you need. So You know the rest of the. They going to come. Yeah, that transfer portal is a fool right now. So they 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 transfer. Well, I heard in. it was I, it was like a thousand some kids. In like three thousand. Right yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of people be. That's a lot of people yeah. be moving. That's a lot of people be moving. Too many. Like they taking advantage of it. Like okay, y'all might not be getting no playing time. Maybe y'all just ain't that good. <laughs> that's that's the part I'm looking at. Like he has so many people coming in. It's like how many of them are really gonna play? Because there's a lot of them transferring in. A lot. When I say a lot, it's a he's lot. He's probably going to bring the cavalry in. They might be good off their first year for real. Hey, all he got to do is win five games. That's all they want in Colorado. They, the want, they, was, one, they was 1 and 11. They had a 1 and 11 record for like the last two, three years. Oh, yeah. He went five games. He's good. <laughs> I mean, you went five games. You straight. You but was I, 1 and 11, what but he's going to do more than that, though. What was crazy is that bowl game that they last the one celebration that bowl. That last one, I had a feeling I was like, it would be crazy if they lost that last game. Yeah, it'd be and crazy. They did. Yeah. His defense let him down because offensively, his son balled out. Yeah, his son a fool. And I, I, but you know what? People be what hating on his son. Wait, how you say it? Shador? Shador Sanders, yeah. People be hating on Shador. It's like, what you hating on him? Son, That's all. We, we know, trying to pull somebody down. They got that flash in them. Yeah. Yeah. They got that flash in them. Because somebody told me, man, he wasn't accurate. I was like, you do know he was 31 for 40. Like, I don't know. In, the, in that bowl game? Yeah, he's like 31 for 40. He had like over 300 yards, four touchdowns. That's then he nasty. Ran right, he had like four touchdowns. Either he had three through the air and one on the ground or four through the air and one on the ground. That's nasty, yeah. though. That's accurate as hell. Yeah, yeah. he he only... He 31 missed, for 40? Yeah, he missed less than 10. Like, he missed less than 10, I think it was. Like, he didn't miss no more than 10 throws. And in the, in the, in the, in the, the nine or 10 throws he missed off the I hands of the I figured it was some tips. Yeah. It wasn't no real true miss. No, no, no. No, it was like, like the little highlights I see. He be throwing that. Accurate. He be throwing that skin. And they had one commentator, man. He had his YouTube channel going, and he was streaming the game. He got up my nerves talking the whole time. He was like, he got to throw a little bit more heat on it. Like, nah, bro. Like Peyton man, and Tom Brady don't have heat. Mm-hmm. It's called touch. Precision. And Precision touch, and touch. Yeah. yeah, you gotta have it. And that's what people tend to f- realize about quarterbacks. Like you had that touch. And Rodgers ain't got no <sighs> true 
Mm. Brett Favre is probably the only one who had a. Mm, mm. Hey, head throw it through your body. Him and yeah. John Elway. But, oh, and Vic. Yeah, Vic. They said Vic. Cam. Yeah. Cam. That was Vic his biggest problem. Them too hard trying to. That was that what made him so inaccurate. He trying to throw too hard. He will throw it through your body for real. Like slow it down. Question for you: Since you were entertainer in the world, since you brought up Cam Newton, we talk about black excellence, mm-hmm. and we talk about entertainment. Do you knock him some days with being black excellence in entertainment because of the way he dressed? Cam? Okay. Yeah, because a lot of people get nah. mad. Because a lot of people get mad at his what I mean, he doing. Yeah. I like, I love. Listen, do do your thing, man. Like, listen. Some of the stuff Cam be wearing, I be like, all right, but this, most of the shit be fire. Yeah, because I'm unique myself. Right, I'm different. Like my mama told me a few days ago, it was probably about it may it might have been a week ago. Uh huh. She's like, you know what you should have tried to do instead of getting into music. Fashion. I was like, hold on, just chill. It's up there, 2023. Yeah. That's something yeah. else. I see you popping off on Facebook. Hey, everybody, man, you get a chance, man, go to Woody's page. You see him popping off every day. He give you something new. He going to model for you every day. You know day. what I'm saying? It's because she know when I buy something, it's different. I don't buy off no mannequins. I don't buy what everybody else is buying. Right. I put my outfits like together from scratch. Right. I think about what shoes I might want to wear, and I build it up. And when I put it on, it looked like that drip. It's a leaky faucet. <laughs> no, <Nah>. killing them. <laughs> it's a leaky faucet. <laughs> it's a leaky faucet. That's like this right here. This is a welder's jacket that I from work. Mm-hmm. I just never use it for that. I'm gonna fill it up with patches. Gotcha. And kill it. Gotcha. I like Watch. that. I thought it was something you bought from the store. Listen. When you, walk, when you first walked listen, in. Listen. I'm telling you, the fashion you. statement is crazy on my behalf. The only thing, the only thing, because I know you're a Panthers fan, man. I know you're a Carolina fan. Ooh, we looking nice. Y'all can beat, y'all can beat Tom Brady and them boys get in there. The only thing that makes me mad about Cam Newton is when I watch him now on Facebook or Instagram or on uh, Twitter. Talking about these, these days. These days. Yeah. He's he, he having uh, the he's Mad skating. Mondays yeah. and all that. He's just having too much fun. Like It's like almost like you broke up with a girl. And it's like, Cam, come back. <laughs> Cam, you come back. You having, having, having too much fun too without, much without me. Fun. Without me. <laughs> Because <laughs> like, I be che- I still be checking if he say he ain't hurting at all. At all. And he's just on them skates, he just out there just strolling. I like hell. I'm like, I miss you, cuz. <laughs> it's like it's like that girl you had. It's like and you, you see, see him. we bring in Josh Norman back. Yeah, yeah. He uh he's gonna be playing Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna, they say they say he probably gonna have a small role, but it's gonna turn into big, yeah, yeah. depending on how the game go. Yeah. Probably gonna, gonna be gonna a third him, down or something. He's gonna catch him one, take it to the house. Ooh. He should have never come left. Come on back, Cam. Yeah, come on. We we obviously we didn't got a quarterback yet. And I think what's uh what's the what's the quarterback? What's the uh Sam head coach name? Donald. Oh, Steve Wilkes. Steve, I think it was Steve Wilkes. I think Steve was there during the, the years Steve of Cam. Yeah. So I think he can kind of if if it would be anybody, it would be him. Cam. Yeah. I know them people effed you over. Yeah. We're gonna do it right this time. Yeah. Cause Cause I'm, on, on that type of tip. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Carolina yeah. messed themselves up. You won too many games, so you're not going to get a quarterback this year, no way. See, I didn't want that anyway. The quarterback or what? I didn't want us to get a quarterback in the draft because gotcha. we just done it last year with Matt Corral. And he hurt, ain't he? He got hurt in the preseason, so hey. we don't know what he about. Right, right. And he from Ole Miss, so you know he can pass. Hey, he had a, uh, he had a, um, uh, what's the dude's name? Um, mm, he, he went to Auburn this year. He the head coach of Auburn now. Yeah, Daddy was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive coordinator. Oh. Everybody talk about what is his name? Talking about, um, I forget. But yeah, Matt Lane Jones, Kiffin. Yeah, he had Matt Lane Corral. Kiffin. Like I went to their camp. He was looking good in their camp. Gotcha. At one point, he was looking better than Dagon Baker and, and Sam. And, uh, mm-hmm. Sam. What you feel about Christian McCaffrey being gone? I mean, I mean you improve. You improve. I mean, it wasn't his fault you didn't improve, nah. but you improved. Yeah, 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 definitely. You didn't center everything around one person. And that was the main problem for the longest. He was the only one that was getting the ball. And yep. that's how you stop him, you stop us. Yeah. Now we got a two headed monster again. Yeah, that's what like that's what Stewart we and Williams. Like when it was Stuart now, and Williams. Now Cam Newton, you come on back and be that third. I seen something on Twitter last yesterday. It was Trey Boston had posted something talking about since they doing reunions or whatever, whatever. <laughs> I couldn't stand him. Number number thirty three, right? They're getting killed out there. Steve Smith thing. talking about what what's up, Panther? You talking about? I say, Steve Smith, don't you dare play like that. 
I was like, don't play like that. Talking about coming out of retirement. You ain't going to come out of there. Boy, don't you play like that. You <laughs> got to go get Cam if they do some stuff like that. But you got to find somebody giving the ball. You got to go yeah. get Cam. You don't, bet. They listen, I, I retweeted it. I was hoping he would reply. I was like, <laughs> I was like Smitty, don't play hey, like that. I don't need that type of fake excitement in, in my, my life. life. <laughs> I, I tell anybody, man, you get Cam a full offseason. Give him a full offseason. Oh, that's oh, I'm glad he, you said cause that. Because he he posted the other day. He said I'm better. He said I'm better than all four quarterbacks in the I, NFC it, South. That's a fact. I said at this moment in time, he's better than Brady. At this moment, and I tell people, don't judge him off New England. Don't judge Please him off he was hurt because he Give was him. balling before the uh, COVID, COVID got him. Yeah, he was balling. I uh, said, so don't judge him off of that. Don't judge him off of uh, Matt Rule, who never should have been an NFL type head coach offense or whatever it was. Don't judge him off of that. Judge him off of uh, 2018. Yeah, when it like before, he, yeah, right before he got hurt, yeah, he was completing like almost seventy percent. Like seventy seventy three, yeah, yeah. We were six and two. Mm-hmm. That was when Christian McCaffrey and Cam was finally getting the jail. DJ Moore had first got there. Yeah, yep, he, yeah. that was his first time having a real team around him. Man. Yep, and it, it got taken away from him. But and I and I get it. You you may not want to go back, but I tell you this right here: if you ain't getting the top quarterback this year, unless you waiting on. Shador Sanders come out, which is going to – he's going to do about two years of Colorado. He got oh, to because yeah. he got to prove himself. Yeah. He's going to do two years yeah, of Colorado. That, 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 that first year wasn't just a fluke. Yeah. And so he's going to do two years, and you're going to wait another two to three years for a quarterback to come out. That's why I'm like, we need to try to find a quarterback mid-level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not too – Huh? Kaepernick. 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 Hey, they, listen, Kaepernick is done. I believe The only that. reason why he's done, the, the others ain't breaking the back. I don't think so. The other said, said, you're not going to sue us and think you're going to come back in to us. I believe it. they would have been like one or the other. Yeah. But you would have to let me know I'm being able to come back. Yeah. Yeah. So, man, Woody, we ain't going to keep you long. But it's, let us know one more time. How many streams you said you got? 6.7 M's. Mm, that's that's a that's a lovely. Where's my phone? At? That's Where's a lovely. Phone, Charles? That's a lovely right number. You. That's a lovely number, man. Right there beside you. He on said he got six right million. Or is it? Or my no, it's right there. It's right there beside you, Charles. On, yeah, uh, right, right there. there. He said he got six million, y'all. Let me get the exact number. We got we got guests in the building. My man it's Charles six, over there. Seven though. I do know it's six seven, but I want the full number. Let's the full. The, let's get the full number. Shout out to my man NBA Charles over here in the building with us. Yeah. But hey, six million. That's a that's a lot of views. That's a lot of streams, man. Hey, he said he eating over here, y'all. Don't worry about it. Go talk. Big factual. I ain't capping. I don't know graduation capping my raps. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's up, man. Six million. Well, six six million seven hundred thousand one hundred and twenty three. That's all. That's all we need right there. That's it. That's it. Six million. Where we at? Right here? Either. Or. Either. Or. I, I like this one. It's okay. going to look good. The best. 6,700,123 streams. Y'all holler at me. You want to know how to grind and get it up? It's all about promo. But nothing's free 2023. Chameleon on the way. Hey, with that being said, y'all, y'all know what time it is. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Run this thing all the way up. Make sure you hit the notification bell so when we go live, you already know what time it is. And with that being said, hey, we out.